Hi all, Sherry O'Brien, Newport Soccer Demonstration Farm, Newport at Ryan for children. Today we'll give a brief update on the first draft of the beef Newport Beef Bullocks. There were 39 2020 born beef bullocks available to be slaughtered on Newport Farm this year. All of the bullocks were sired by five star terminal bulls, Fiston, Bivoc, High Deal, and Mullery and Trippet were used on the mature herd, and Edendale Liver was used on the first carvers. All of the 39 yearling bullocks were turned out to grass on the 2nd of March at an average live weight of 433 kilos. The yearlings had achieved an average live weight of 0.63 of a kilogram per day over the winter period. On the 2nd of September, Codstress was introduced at a rate of 2 kilo per head to 12 bullocks of grass and they were gradually brought to 5 kilos before slaughter. The bullocks were brought into a concrete yard each day for feeding to prevent paddock poaching. The bullocks live weight on the 7th of September was 622 kilos. On the 18th of October, nine bullocks were drafted for slaughter and their average live weight was 697 kilos, ranging from 19 to 20 months of age. These bullocks were 230 days of grass before slaughter and achieved an average daily gain of 1.01 kg or a total of 264 kilos live weight from turnout to slaughter. On average, each bullock consumed 194 kg of a 12% crude protein ration before slaughtering, costing €61 Euros per bullock at a cost of €314 Euros per tonne. The nine in-inspect bullocks graded on average U-3- with an average carcass weight of 372 kilos with a 53% kill out percentage. The factory base price in the day was €4.20 Euros and 20 cents per kilo and all of the nine in-spec bullocks qualified for the extra €0.20 cent per kilo through the quality payment system or the QPS. Six U-minus grading bullocks received an extra €0.12 cent per kilo and three R-plus grading bullocks received an extra €0.06 cent per kilo as per the payment grade confirmation bonus. So the average payment per kilo of beef was €4.50 Euros and 50 cents, leaving the average sale price for the nine bullocks of €1,675 Euros per head. This high deal bullock was born the 24th of February 2020 of a six calver Aberdeen Angus cross cow and graded U minus 3 plus. His live weight on the sale day was 723 kilos and he had a carcass weight of 398 kilos. The bullock killed out at 55% with a sale price of 1,797 euros. This grey fiston bullock was born on the 7th of February 2020 out of a seven calver Aberdeen Angus cross cow and graded R plus 3 minus. His live weight on the sale day was 659 kilos and he had a carcass weight of 341 kilos. The bullock killed out at 52% with a sale price of 1,520 euros. This Edendale Ivor bullock of a first calver, Hereford Cross Cow, was born on the 2nd of March 2020 and graded U-3 equal. The bullock's live weight on the day was 694 kilos and he had a carcass weight of 355 kilos. He killed out at 51% with a sale price of 1,606 euros. Paul Nolan, Group Development Manager of Dawn Meats, has been examining the nine bullocks carcasses and their sale potential. Thank you, Michael. So the bullocks that Michael has just been showing you are now hanging on the rail here. And as you can see, they're superb carcasses. They're all ours and use. They're weighing 350 to 380 kilos, which is ideal for our market requirements. And indeed, they are finished at under 19 months of age, which means that we have lowered our carbon footprint in Newford considerably. Uh, in the last two years. These animals are ideal for the consumers of today because they're going to produce steaks that the consumer wants and can afford. So, as you saw inside of the trail, a lovely line of steers from uh, Newford that were processed earlier this week. So we've taken one of the hindquarters in here to the boning room and we've boned its comrade hindquarter just to show you, for example, the strip line here. And what we see from this strip uh, from a 370 kilo carcass is that it's producing beautiful steaks that are very saleable because they're the right size, the right thickness and most importantly they sell at the right price point for the consumer when the choice is to be made between beef and other proteins. And just to make that point, if we look here to our right, here is a strip line from a hindquarter but from a poorly bred dairy cross beef animal which has given us a pea carcass and in turn gives us steaks that are very narrow and far less attractive when on the supermarket shelf. And on the other hand, if we look here at a superbly produced continental animal, that in this case is a U240 kilo body of beef, we get two amazing steaks, but unfortunately, they're too large for most consumers' um, price point. And for that reason, the one that we really need to concentrate on is this carcass here, which as I say, varies between 350, 380 kilos, O plus or R, 
fat score three to four, giving us these stakes that are eminently saleable, and that's what the market by and large is looking for today. Thanks, Paul and Matthew, for that in-depth analysis of the Newford Beef Bullocks carcasses. So the remaining 29 bullocks were housed on the 20th of October at 583 kilos lightweight. They were started off on two kilos of concentrate, and this has been increased to four kilos for the moment. Newford will keep drafting these bullocks as they come fit for slaughter, and we're aiming to have all the bullocks sold off the farm by late December. For further information, follow us on www.newfordsupperbeef.ie.